Hello and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally picked and are my kids' favorite book stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you a story. Officer McDempos on Duty Woody Bo and their friends move from town to town with a carnival, helping kids and toys along the way. As the carnival set up in a new place, the toys made their way to a nearby playground for some fun. A boy raced Duke Kaboom down the slide, while Officer Giggle McDimples, Woody, Bo, and her ship took a ride on the merry-go-round. Amid all the fun, Bo and Giggle noticed a sad taco toy in the sand beside them. When the merry-go-round slowed, Bo whispered into Giggles' ear, Once the area is clear, we investigate the taco. As soon as the kids left the playground, Ducky and Bunny got up. That was awful, groaned Taco. You mean awesome, said Bunny, right? Awful, repeated Taco. Giggle approached the toy. Officer McDimples at your service. What seems to be the trouble, sir? I don't know, said Taco with a sigh. Playing with kids is boring. All the toys gasp. Giggle held up her hand, quieting them. Sounds like you're in need of a little detective work. She collected Taco's information and then asked if he remembered ever having fun at a playground. Taco smiled as he recalled sunny day. The grass was green, the sky was blue, and a crib and a kid grabbed me, chewed me a few times, and chucked me into the grass. It was awesome. This is a case of mistaken identity, said Giggle. Taco, you are not meant to play with kids. You're a pet toy. Suddenly, Taco was very excited. Giggle was too. As the head of the pet patrol, pets were her specialty. So, what kind of pet toy is he? Asked Woody. We are about to find out, Sheriff, said Giggle with a grin. The toys watched as Giggle got to work trying to determine the right pet for Taco. We have several suspects here, said Giggle. Dog, cat, parakeet, rabbit, hamster, horse, any of these pets could be our target. After a few moments, she turned toward Woody. We'll need to run a squeaker detection test, said Giggle. Woody threw his lasso around Taco at Giggles' command. All the toys worked together to pull it tight. The jubilant sound made Taco laugh and laugh. As I suspected, said Giggle, you're a dog toy. Bo led everyone to a large map posted outside the playground. Giggle narrowed her eyes. It's a dangerous mission, but this task force can handle it. Let's go. Where are we going? Asked Taco. Dog Park, said Giggle. Just as they were about to discuss transportation, a woman approached with her dogs. The toys dropped to the ground. Now where is the dog park? She muttered, looking up at the map. The toys watched, hopeful, as the dogs checked out Taco. 
but neither of them seemed interested. As the woman turned to leave, Bo and Woody quickly helped all the toys into the bottom of her dog's stroller. They rem remained hidden as she unknowingly pushed them to the dog park. When they arrived, the toys crept behind a patch of scrubs, of shrubs and watched the dogs running, sniffing, and playing inside the park. Taco wanted to race through the gates, but Gigo held up her hand. It's my sworn duty as an officer of the law to make sure this is done correctly. Bo launched Gigo into the dog park. Gigo's eyes landed on a young pup wagging her tail. She knew she found she had found the one for Taco. Gigo rolled off a dog's head and used a leaf as cover to make her way back to the other toys. Wide and tan, long tail, southeast corner, announced Gigo. Yes, Taco cheered. How do we get him there? Ask Woody. They quickly got into position and waited for the perfect moment. Now, Gigo said, Bo ran a few steps, dropped Taco, and kicked him with all her might. Taco soared over the gate and into the park. The dog spotted Taco and began wagging her long tail. She leaped into the air and caught him in her mouth. Then she chewed on him as she ran, squeaking him all the way. What do you have there, Gigi? said a young girl. A taco? How cool! Another pet patrol case closed, said Gigo with pride. And another happy toy, added Bo. The toys watched as the girl and her dog continued having a blast, throwing and fetching Taco. They knew he was enjoying every chasing, chewing, squeaking second, and that made them feel happy too. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story, Officer McDimples on Duty. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon.